finding your dream home isn't easy, finding a mortgage can be even harder. Luckily for you, we've got just the guy to help you figure out the process. It's our real estate expert, TJ Larson. How are you today? Good. TJ, first thing we should do when we need to secure a mortgage. We need to find the right mortgage broker or the right mortgage oh. banker. And the way you shop for this is probably the same way you're going to shop for your real estate agent. You need to ask around, get people's advice. Who have they used? Who do they trust? Your realtor? should be your best resource for this. I hope that if somebody's representing you as their realtor, they have used a lot of mortgage brokers over the years. Who do they know will perform and will look out for your best interests? And there were so many people who got into mortgage trouble. Mm -hmm. How do you know how much home you can afford? There's a rule of thumb, and take that for what it's worth, but take your gross yearly income, mm -hmm. multiply that times three, and that should be about the amount that you should borrow. But here's the thing. Base this off of what your comfort level is, not what the bank will lend you. You know, I've had folks who have come up to me that make $50,000 a year and they said, yeah. well, the bank says I should be able to borrow $500,000. That's not true. That's way out of whack. So the best thing you can do, have them come up with what's my total monthly payment, what's my principal, my interest, my taxes, my insurance, homeowners association dues. Let's put all those together. You're going to stroke that check at the end of the month for those fees. Let's make mm -hmm. sure it's one that you can afford. Okay. So then should I talk to more than one lender in this process? You should. It's an interview process. For some reason, I like three. I like to go out and reach out to three different folks, whether mm -hmm. it would be your credit union, whether it would be your mortgage broker, whether it would be a mortgage banker. Now, you shouldn't be applying with each one of these folks, but get a comfort level. Have them put okay. together what's called a GFE, or a good faith estimate. That's going to tell you the type of loan program they're looking at, what their fees are, and what their rates are going to be. Okay. Now, Within that, I know if there are too many credit report inquiries, that could cause an issue. Should each of them be pulling a credit report on me? Here's what I like to do. I like to go out whether I'm looking for a car or whether I'm looking for a house, and I like to pull the credit report myself. You can do that for free online. Get an idea of what your median score is. And when you go to talk to anybody who's going to lend you money, mm -hmm. say, I'm looking at a 680 credit score. This is what I make. This is what my debts are. What do you think I should qualify for? Now, when you go to register for the loan and you actually apply with that lender, the one that you choose, at that point, they're going to need to choose, pull your credit as well. Okay. So then what do I need to have with me when I come to see you? Well, uh, proof of employment. You're going to need that. Uh, 30 days for the pay stub, showing your year-to-date earnings. You're also going to need two years of tax returns two years of W-2s. If you're self-employed, you might need three years. I was going to ask you, what about if you're self-employed? Uh, yes, well, I definitely go down, that, uh, <laughs> go down that road. The other thing is proof of assets, what you have in your brokerage accounts, what you have in your banking accounts. Anything that you put on your application, you're going to need to be able to prove. Finally, they're going to want a copy of a fully executed offer to purchasing contract. Okay. Now, are there any upfront expenses? Should I have a check ready when I go to apply for a mortgage? When you go to apply, potentially you should have that ready, but that's going to be after the interview process. So if you're going to look and interview three different lenders, definitely don't give all three a fee because you're not going to get that money back. But there's two things that they can and should be charging for. The first is going to be the copy of your credit report. They're going to have to charge to pull that. Okay. A lot of the lenders that we use, they're going to waive that fee. It's a very small fee anyway. Uh, the next thing that they need to be able to put together is your appraisal. Now, the bank is going to want to order that appraisal. It's going to be around 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. What about paperwork? What kind of paperwork should they be providing for me? Uh, I like to get a welcome letter. I brought one with me. I've got some friends over at a company called Direct Home Loans. And they put this welcome letter together for me, and it will tell me everything that I need in association with that loan to get ready so that I know the process. Get them to give you a cheat sheet. Extremely important. Okay. If you have any questions for TJ, we'd like to answer them live on the air next Tuesday. We know this can be a very confusing process. So just email your questions to TJ at MyTownHome.com. Again, send your questions to TJ at MyTownHome.com, and we'll have have TJ answer them live on the air here next week. That sounds great. Thank you, TJ. Thank you.